Big News Sketchbook. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca from Artist Rebecca LS. Today, I have a new sketchbook from a company I've never used before. Okay guys, this sketchbook is by Artway. I think the company is from the United Kingdom, possibly. I purchased this from Amazon France. The, the back says Studio and Artway. It's kind of embossed at the bottom. And the texture, it's hard backed, slightly damaged here. You can see at the bottom, slightly damaged, probably in delivery, but that's all right. And I ordered two of them and they are 6 99 euros for me in France and it's A5 size so I don't know what that would be in other measurements because I only understand A4, A5, A6 etc. So then we've said it's hard backed it's um, not spiral it's just regular um, you know book so what I tend to do is stretch and pull it back you know so that it will not bounce or anything so it's white and smooth so the the weight is supposed to be 170 gsm and it is acid free and meant for most media apparently so i should be able to get away with some light watercolor so i'm thinking Let's do some testing of some art supplies. So we've stretched it. We've got that there. So I thought, first of all, I've got two of these Derwent uh, graphite tint pencils to hand. And they're water soluble. And they are earth tones. Great for doing, um, you know, woodlands, basically. So this is in chestnut number 13 and number 11 in ivy. So let's do a bit of a, yeah, and that's going down quite nicely already without adding any water. I'm not adding much pressure at all. And we've got some nice squiggles to indicate some soil going on. So that's nice there. And we'll put some of this ivy so that we've got some of that there. And then I'll put those away, because they've been used now, and we will then add some water, see how that copes. And don't forget guys, it will really help me out if you hit the subscribe button and the like button. Go check if you've done that right now while I'm just adding the water and you can then come back and see what it's looking like or hit the pause button thank you for doing that so now this is all done you can see that the um, the marks from the pencil have near as damn it dissolved it's not always about the paper. Sometimes it is the art supply and how hard you push. Um, but so you can see a little bit of the lines from the pencil there. Now we will try some, I think, Prismacolors. <laughs> we have it in Burnt Ochre. And we will try, I don't know, let's do some kind of rocks or something outlined here. Again, not too bad. It's going down quite nicely. It's 
I just do a light um, kind of layer and we will then go in possibly with a, a greyish tone to kind of make it more rock like if I can find my grey <laughs> I tend to kind of hide my greys it could be a silver yeah we'll do a silver oh interesting we'll give it a bit of a sharper It was a bit scratchy, still scratchy, but I think it could be, I never really do use silver and gold in, in pencils because they tend to be a little bit, um, well, a lot harder, but we're getting there, it's not so bad. Okay, leave it like that, put that back, and what else can we use? I think we're going to use some of this palette of paint that we've got here, which is just my mix of gouaches, they're not artist grade, they are, um, you know, your regular kids, student grade. So I'm damping my brush. And I'm then going to go in with this light brown. I'm probably going to start indicating a bit of a tree. like so and I'll probably add some of this dark green I do tend to use more gouache than any other products and watercolours obviously so that's why I test those supplies mainly in these sketchbooks because I don't actually just like a watercolour sketchbook so we're getting on quite nicely with this it's taking nicely to my tapping of the thick thicker kind of gouache paint Just bringing the foliage down more. There we are. So we're now going to just do the watercolours. Just put a few drops of water to activate the colour. Or I might just give it a sort of this. There we go. That was easier. Now has wet the paper on the other side a bit, but whatever. We will now get some of this light blue that we've got over here and go in here. And I think this is going to hold up rather nicely. We wet the page, I think, first, as you would with watercolour. And then we will add in our blue just to indicate a little bit of sky and it's really just to take the bright white away there kind of happy with that and this was just a test anyway. We're not doing anything majorly amazing, <laughs> okay? We're just testing art supplies. So with those three or four art supplies, we have created a little scene. 
that we can go back to when it's dry if we want and add some creatures or people, walking dogs or something. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys and I'll catch you really soon. See ya!